Turning an eye on the Commonwealth now, a blockade of a popular Muslim business in Northern Virginia is now over. John Henry reports on what led to the chaos. For the last 20 years, the Lebanese butcher in Warrington has been the place to go for local Muslims looking to celebrate Eid al-Adha. Just a big festival for you know, a lot of uh, Muslim families to come together. But last week, the town of Warrington threw that business a curveball. Everything up until about Friday was normal. That was when the police department blocked the business's driveway with its cruisers. With the officers being there, people were showing up. People were being turned down at the, at the gate right up at the street. You know, they stopped in the middle of the street. The business said it always got the right permits in time to handle all the customers who show up to the event. But when they tried to this year, they were told things had changed and that they had sought the permits too late. The Lebanese butcher also said Warrington failed to inform the business in a timely manner that it had zoning violations. The situation ultimately led the butcher to seek the help of the Council on American Islamic Relations. With this place being sh shut down or it being closed, it poses a big void to the community and it threatens, you know, their their ability to basically fulfill their religious obligation. Eventually, Monday evening, CARE came to an agreement with the town to end the blockade. The Lebanese butcher just hopes things stay that way. It's a government agency an entity you'd expect for them to fulfill you know, their honor. The town's attorney released a statement saying Warrington has always tried to bring the business into compliance when it comes to zoning, but eventually there has to be a line. The business told me it plans to work with the town on that issue.